Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 26th of April. The local media headlines today. What do we do if no one wins the Cornwall Council elections on the 6th of May? It's a really difficult question and I certainly don't have the answer. Neither, it seems, do either the Labour Party or the Green Party, whose willingness to talk about it is to be commended, even if they are not yet in a position to explain precisely what they mean. Another puzzle is how can it be right for someone to seek election to Cornwall Council while also on the ballot paper in Buckinghamshire? This might become one for the lawyers. Meanwhile, a revised planning application for the £170 million redevelopment of Truro is about to be submitted, despite an earlier promise that nothing substantial would happen before the elections. The St Ives Times and Echo came out on Friday and is drawing attention to the swathes of blue and white plastic bunting which has started to appear all over the place in advance of the G7 summit. The paper points out that the St Ives bid organisation has actually signed up to the local plastic free campaign. The Times and Echo also has a hilarious story about how Cornwall Council has been sending utility bills to St Ives Town Council in Cambridgeshire. Nothing like a bit of local knowledge to help turn the wheels of local government. Pirate FM confirmed that US President Joe Biden will be coming to Cornwall for the G7. The BBC covered another large gorse fire, this one near Red Ruth. And finally Cornwall Live had an hour by hour update on the temperature yesterday. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.